good morning you YouTubes you here's my newest bet noir or bet dark blue the Corsair by e-flight 1.2 meter which I managed to fly successfully into the ground after two seconds after being launched by Mon Capitaine who did a sterling job launching but we still never got to the uh, root cause of why this thing just stoved into the ground could have been all sorts. Uh, I, had a, I thought I'd try it on a 3S on the maiden crash, flight crash. Uh, no more. This will always have to fly on 4S now. So we've got a 4S 2200 in, an Overlander one. And uh, yeah, I've taken my brave pill, got my big girl's knickers on. So let's see if we can actually get a flight with this thing. Let's go, YouTube. Shit or bust. Throttle cut off. Ooh, just another control check. Right, left, up, down, right, left. Here we go. So elevator. Bit of rudder. Hey, <clears throat> well, she's up. I'm probably going to be very quiet here. I am concentrating like hell. And <coughs> what's she doing? wants to dive in to the right so <clears throat> give us some left rudder okay I took off in safe, so I thought it would just be a good idea. Um, but I don't seem to have AS3X on the other flight mode, so I don't know what that's all about. There she goes, yeah, still a little bit of, I'll have to put some manual trim on, I think. Okay, right, she's got level now. I don't think uh, the Maiden on 3S was a good idea. I think this will have to be a forever 4S. She's a big old chunk, this one. Noticeably heavier than the uh, E-Flight Spitfire. About the same weight as the Dynam Hurricane. Does it need a little bit of... Yes, 
Yeah, there's a down elevator. Flies very nicely. Now I've actually got her in the air. <clears throat> yeah, after the uh, the maiden crash, I'm afraid that uh, uh, my heart sank with this aircraft. It really did. So I repaired the undercarriage, I put it back on the shelf, and there it has languished for about four or five months now. So this is truly the maiden obviously, because we're actually flying here. Right, we're gonna have to check the time. Oh, time is nearly up. What a shame. What a shame. I'm enjoying this. Maiden on the E flight course, uh, 1.2 meter. So let's just get a slow down. Back in that mode. Let's have some of that. And then we'll bring her in. Nice and easy. Okay, we're coming round. Gear down. There's the timer. Oh, she's going to come in very gently. That's nice. Right, going to take her back out and round low. barn, fly to the ground, fly to the ground. Well I even touched, <laughs> I even managed to touch the runway. Okay, let's get you off my head. Oh good grief, I've waited a long time for this one. All right, throttle cut on. Get her back on her little feet. Go on, that's it. Flaps up. There it is, YouTube, at last. I've flown my 1.2 E Flight Corsair F4U. Blimey. Flies beautifully, I must say. It flies like a dream. I absolutely love it. And I will be flying this rather a lot more. Needs a good dusting. <laughs> yeah, that's balsa dust from the secret balsa build, which I'm not going to tell you about. Anyway, YouTube, come on. You know the drill. Stay safe. Keep your tin hats on. Come watch another PRCA video as soon as you like, please. Gina Purcell and the E-Flight 1.2 meter F4U Corsair signing out. Goodbye.